YouTubers are pretty cool, aren't they? So, for today's 27th day of Juvie, it's getting really close to the end, guys, I'm going to tell you some of my favourite YouTubers. So we're going to start off with Michael Aranda, who is, well, Michael Aranda. He also does what I'm doing right now, which is just his daily vlog, and yeah, that's all good. I've used his music that he's done a few times in my daily vlogging times myself. It's pretty good stuff. And he's worked on SciShow and Crash Course for sound stuff for a long time. So, it's awesome. He, he really, really is a really cool guy. And he's now like running his own sort of studio as well. And it's really cool. And I really, really like him. And he's a really cool YouTuber. Next one is Hank and John Green, the Vlog Brothers. I have really appreciated them for a long time. I've often thought of them in my younger years as being what I'd like to grow up to be. I I would love to grow up to be Hank and John Green. Just just yeah, I would just split in two. No. I would just love to do what they do in all the ways that they do it. It would be great. Next up is Daniel J. Layton, actor, who is an actor and a vlogger and has been around for a long time and he's a really cool guy. He has done some really powerful videos about some powerful topics such as people assuming that he's gay because he's an actor and all that, but like he's not, but it's also not an insult so he's like, eh? He's done some really really good stuff and I've been really really enjoying his content. That he's made. Next up is Kerry Calgan, who used to run the Curiosity vlogs for the Geek and Sundry vlogs. Like, she was doing all this sort of detective work on particular things. It was really cool. She still does that a bit on her channel, but her main sort of videos are called A Bard's Eye View, which is because she, th she thinks of herself as a bard, and it's, it's really cool. And she did some really, really good videos, and she did a video for most of the days in April as well and a bit, ran a bit late, but she was doing 30 lessons that she learned in 30 years, shared in 30 days. And it was really good. There was one which was actually documenting her birthday itself, and it was brilliant, and I love it. It's, it's great. Next up is Matthew Gados, who is a bit of an old-school YouTuber. He's been around for a long, 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 long time, but I only got into him a couple of years back. He's really, really cool guy. He, he, he's got a beard, and yeah, like, he has been about for a long time. He's also been working for the DFTBA and everything for a long time as well, and he's, like, doing director and producer -y stuff on explanations and a few other things as well, and that takes more of a priority than his own vlogs, but when he has been doing his own vlogs, it's been really, really good, and I've really, really enjoyed them. Then, there's Dale Kingsmill, or Monarch's Factory. She does myth videos mainly, but she's Australian. She's really, really cool. She was on the Geek and Sundry Vlogs channel again, and she was it, it just... It, she's so cool, guys! I... I uh, like, ah! Uh, I have got a bit of a crush on her, but... Uh, yeah, she's just like she's she's so cool. She's so cool. She does all her myth videos, and that's really, 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 really cool. Then we've got Sabrina Cruz, or Nerdy and Quirky, or Quirky and Nerdy. She's got other side channels and stuff, but her main one's Nerdy and Quirky, and she's really, really, really cool as well. I'm just saying that about most of them, but like she has all sorts of stuff going on. She does cool history, she does a few other things, she's done a load of uh, sponsored stuff about movies and things, and she's, she's really, really, really fun. And she's been about for a while, and I found her through the Nerd Factor thing, again, through the Vlogbrothers, and yeah, like, she's been doing loads of cool stuff. One of the things that really made me like her, though, was how on her side channel she did a little daily vlog called The Checklist, which she's stopped now, but she did a whole load of these, and it's really fun, 
and it was just getting to it, it reminded me of some aspects of my own but while also bringing in other aspects and it's it, like good good stuff like but better than mine Craig Benzine or Wheezy Waiter doesn't need any introduction he's just brilliant and that's all there needs to be said about it and yeah I am a beard lover I'm a nerd fighter from before I forgot to say that earlier but I'm also a beard lover despite not being able to love a beard myself. And last, but sort of least, not really, not in not in my heart, <laughs> is Maddie, my friend Maddie, who is Waterhouse on YouTube. She does some interesting videos and I'm friends with her, so I, I feel slightly obliged to say that she is one of my favourites. Not really, but I felt like, it would be a nice thing to do. So, links to all of these guys are going to be in the description below, and you should check them all out. Comment down below with what your favourite YouTubers are yourself. I would love to know, so tell me down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.